Hi, in this class we will continue our study of numbers and the next topic that we are going to see is the board mass method for whole numbers. Now what is this board mass method? Well, note that this method called board mass is a full form of all the terms starting with the letter B. So here we are talking of the board mass method. So I will write the name once more that is B-O-D-M-A-S. Now what do we mean by board mass in the first place? Each of these letters stands for a complete word and so if we talk about B, it stands for bracket. So B stands for the word bracket, O stands for the one word OFF. Similarly D stands for the operation of division, then M stands for the operation of multiplication. Then we have A which stands for addition and finally an S which stands for subtraction. So now we've seen board mass stands for these words. So board mass means bracket of division, multiplication, addition or subtraction. And note that this board mass has been written in a given order. So initially we have a B, then we have a O and then a D and so on. And note that whenever we are faced with a complicated expression in mathematics, then we will evaluate that expression using this priority. So suppose we are dealing with an expression of the form 22 minus 2 into 5 minus 4 minus 28 divided by 7. So now we have a long expression over here which is made up of the operations of minus multiply and divide. So whenever we have such a long operation made up of or such a long expression made up of many operations then in which order can we apply the operations? Well here note that if you perform the operators in any order that is if you apply the operators in any random order then you will get an incorrect answer. So there is a method in which we can apply the operators. So which operator to apply first is an important thing to know and to help us understand which operator we should first apply we will follow the board mass method. Now this board mass method says that we have to start with the bracket because the first term here is b which stands for bracket. So we are starting with bracket. Now the bracket here is 22 minus 2. So this bracket will be resolved first and we know that 22 minus 2 is equal to 20. So I will first resolve this bracket and I will get the answer 20. Then I will resolve the other bracket which is 5 minus 4 and that gives us a 1. Well both the brackets have been resolved and then I will resolve this off term but because there is no off term here we will move to the next operation in sequence which is divide. Now note that the division operator here is over here. And so we will first divide 28 by 7 and so we will write 28 divided by 7. Now we know that when 28 is divided by 7 we get the value 4 and so I will get a 4 over here. Now note that after division the next thing I do is multiplication and so now I will multiply because these are two multiplier sign here and then we have a minus sign over here which is preserved. Now here we have two operators multiply and subtract but because multiply is ahead of subtract we will first perform the multiplication and 20 into 1 we know is equal to 20 and so this multiplication will give us the value 20 from which we subtract a 4 to give us the answer 16. So we have now seen that the value of this expression is equal to 16. Note that if you had applied the operators in any random order, it is likely that you could get a different answer and that answer would likely be incorrect. And so we need to know this order in which we perform operations that is on which we operate the numbers on. So whenever we are faced with a lengthy expression, then we first start with the bracket, then we look at off word, then we start with divide, multiply, add and finally subtract. So this is the order in which whole numbers are resolved using the various operators. Let us now see yet another example that makes use of this board mass concept. So the example that we are dealing with is of this kind. We have 11 plus 10 minus 20 in the first bracket. To this bracket we add another bracket that has 5 plus 3 inside it and then we divide from it another bracket and inside the other bracket we have a division of 8 by 2. So now we have this kind of an expression whose value we are interested in finding. So let's read the expression once more. The expression is we have the first bracket as 11 plus 10 minus 20 to which we add the second bracket which is 5 plus 3 and then we divide a third bracket and the third bracket has 8 divided by 2 inside it. Now this again is a big expression and so 
we will have to determine the order in which we will apply these operators. The first operator we will apply is bracket and so we will resolve the brackets first. So we will start with this bracket which has 11 plus 10 minus 20 and I know that 11 plus 10 gives me 21 and from 21 I will subtract the 20 so I will retain this bracket. Well. 21 minus 20 I know is equal to 1 so I will get a 1 inside this bracket so this first bracket has been resolved now looking at the second bracket I have a 5 plus 3 and so I will write 5 plus 3 here which I know is equal to 8 so I will get 5 plus 3 is equal to 8 similarly I will then retain this 8 below as well because I now want something in this line so I will retain this 8 again and note that there was a plus sign between these two brackets which will be preserved now the next thing here is a division operation and so I will divide but the division is happening with a bracket and so I will resolve this bracket first. Note that the brackets contents are 8 divided by 2 and we know that 8 divided by 2 is equal to 4 and so here I will get a 4 and this 4 will be repeated below. So I have now obtained 1 plus 8 divided by 4. Now in this given expression again we have brackets but because the brackets have been resolved we do not have any operators inside the brackets and so I will simply write this as 1 plus 8 divided by 4. Now if you look at this expression here we have a division operation and we also have an addition operation but here the division operator has a higher precedence because divide comes before adding and so we will first perform division and then perform adding. So first performing the division we perform 8 divided by 4 which we know is equal to 2 and so I will get a 2 over here and this 2 will be added to this one. So I get my final expression as 1 plus 2 which we all know is equal to 3. And so the value of this entire expression is now equal to 3. Note that if you do not follow the board mass method you are likely to get a different wrong answer and so you will always follow this board mass method of resolving complicated expressions.